it's relaxing. It gives the mind, which may be fraught with uh, problems, you know, how am I going to make next week's payroll, for instance? I've had that problem a few times. But it's what I enjoy doing. You know, I'm a civil engineer, and I, I'm probably a square peg in a round hole. And I, I would love to have not worked in, because they were, you know, kind of grungy, but I'd love to go in old shops, you know, and I'd love to have seen them in operation. And in years past, I've been in some of these shops, you know, they weren't quite that old, but you got the feel, you know, the clutter and the fire and the smoke and the action and blah, blah, blah. And it's, yeah, it, you feel like, you, you know, you come down here and piddle and you're, you turn back the hands of time a little bit, you know. And this is a hobby, not an amateur, but a hobby letterpress shop. So one reason that I started buying and selling stuff, which I do as a sideline, very casual sideline, it's a get rich slow scheme. Uh, is to take stuff that you don't want and sell it so that you got money or access to other stuff. You know, it starts slow and it builds and you stumble on things and you go to auctions and people pass away and the widow calls and says, you know, are you interested in any of this stuff? There's a lot of stuff around and people want hands on. You know, pick a hobby, photography, old cars. Why does anybody do that stuff? Who needs a quilt? We don't need quilts. We got sacks of feathers that keep us warm now. Duvets. But isn't it neat to have something put together with old squares of cloth and an interesting geometric or maybe non-geometric pattern? Yes, it is interesting. <laughs>